this is Lisa from Ayurvedic. Today we're gonna make some ghee. So all you need is cultured unsalted butter. So this is butter made from yogurt, so it has a good bacteria in it. We need a jar to fill up our finished ghee in, and then a strainer, so you can use either one of these with a cheesecloth, or you can use like a metal strainer, something similar to this with smaller holes. You can use that as well. And then you need a pot, the stainless steel one. So we'll just start by putting all the butter into the pot. And turn the pot on. And it's important to have a positive attitude when you cook your ghee and in your kitchen as well. Everything is here goes into the ghee. It really absorbs all the energy and intention that you have. So it's nice to keep silence in the kitchen or you can do a mantra if you have one that you feel that you resonate with. We don't have to stir it. We don't have to scoop out the foam. We just let it be, just let it do its thing. You wanna keep it bubbling at a low temperature. And then we'll just wait. And it will take about 20 minutes for two pounds of ghee to cook. So ghee is basically clarified butter. It's just the oil that's left in the butter. So the milk solids, they sink to the bottom and the water evaporates. And then we filter out the foam and the, left, the milk solids that are left in the butter afterwards with a cheesecloth or the metal strainer. So what we have left then is just the pure oil. And the body can absorb this really easily. It doesn't have the same congestive qualities that butter have. This is great. We lubricate the body from the inside out with ghee. Our ghee is almost done. I don't know if you can hear, but it's still bubbling slightly. And when it stops bubbling, we turn it off. It's done. So the last five, 10 minutes, you really have to watch it carefully so you don't burn it. Because it will burn eventually. Ghee has a higher cooking temperature than butter, but it does burn. So I'm just gonna keep watching it for a little bit. The ghee has cooled down a little bit. And I've set up my cheesecloth here with my glass jar. I'm just gonna pour the ghee in here. So as you see, it has a crust at the bottom. So this is the milk solids that have been sinking to the bottom. It looks a bit burnt, but it's not. So the foam has like spread out to the sides and it's a little thinner now. So it's, most of the foam has sunk to the bottom. So I'm just gonna pour this through here. And there is our liquid gold, our ghee. So that's it, it's quite simple. Let me know if you have any questions and I'm happy to answer them and hear from you. See you soon.